All right, so I see this question asked a lot here, whether or not you should still build X team or should you still build X character, right? So we're gonna be answering that question here in today's video. Should you still build your Infinity Watch team? Should you still grind it out for Big Boy Apocalypse? Should you build Ultron? Should you build Dormammu? We're gonna answer that question a little bit more here in today's video. My one little caveat though I will say is that even though I'm probably gonna say no to a character or two or maybe a team or two here, if it brings you joy to build that particular team or those particular characters, then you should definitely do so because this all, after all, is a game and you should have fun in a game. But the thing is, you just gotta be mindful, right, of what characters and what teams you're building and understand that you probably wanna build out those meta characters first and then do your passion projects a little bit later. But let's dive into the what I think is probably the most obvious answer is should you still grind it out for big boy apocalypse a lot of players are coming back to marvel strike force right now and they're trying to think to themselves like hey man like should i really try to grind out these horsemen teams and get them the gear tier 17 and then put the blue isos on them you got two mutant teams and unlimited x-men and dead sea like should i really be doing this and the answer is yes it's a resounding yes if you ask me because apocalypse is a top two character in marvel strike force there is no game mode that I can think of off the top of my head where Apocalypse is not used in that game mode. He's used in Arena, he's used in Cosmic Crucible, in Alliance War, in whatever else I'm forgetting, well, except for Raids, right? Raids is probably the only place that he's not using right now. You're gonna use him in Dark Dimension. Whenever there's Tower that pops up, you're gonna be able to use him there. He's just a sensational character. He has a mythic tag, right? So he's gonna be used in Dark Dimension 7. There is just no place where, other than Raids, where this guy does not stop, stand out as a top character. And you need him to be able to counter Super Scroll in some of these game modes. You need him as an option to be able to beat Black Knight. There's just no game mode in particular where you're not gonna get good value out of him. As you can see, I do have my three uh dark diamonds here on apocalypse no regrets right was, was it regrets whichever whatever the thing is i know the real word is regrets but you get what i'm trying to say the meme but there's no game mode absolutely where you're not going to be able to get him as a use him as a find him as a valuable character top two character in the game it's basically between him and super scroll when mephisto comes out they can duke it out and figure out which one of them is the better better one there but yes in my opinion it's still worth the grind the grind sucks especially because you have to invest into two mutant teams but it's definitely going to be worth it once you do get apocalypse because he just makes your world significantly easier um in the game here now next thing i want to talk about here this is a team that seems to stand the test of time and that is the infinity watch team i will say though although they do provide a lot of value i do believe that this is going to be sort of like a nuanced team for a lot of players or luxury team uh, for a lot of players. They still do hold up. Like right now in Cosmic Crucible, I'm getting a, a, a lot of value out of them because they are an efficiency sink in CC. But one of the things that makes them still valuable as a team at the end game level is that they have safeguard, right? That safeguard with the defense up, with the immunity, with the revive mechanic, the healing, the assist mechanic from Nebula, Gamora when she's big enough. I mean, she, she will just really like you can delete characters she does a lot of really good damage so because of that this team definitely has still stood the test of time although they're in terms of like the top meta teams they're kind of on the bottom of it this is probably a team that you build up a little bit later on after you've invested into all your other top tier meta teams but you're gonna find value out of them at least right now as caught in the season of cosmic crucible and they've been valuable in pretty much every season in cosmic crucible they're still also a team that can be used in alliance war if you do care about that they're a punch across right now against the new warriors team because of the buffs that they're getting in alliance war they're a punch down right now to i think the infestation team they're also a punch down to new avengers that's kind of a dicey matchup though i wouldn't really go into that one unless you have like a pretty solid gamora moon dragon and Philavel. but they are definitely they're, they're a good option there too so in my personal opinion this team is still good but they are probably a secondary build to your other top tier meta teams that are in the game and this is probably more so of an end game team as it is to probably someone that's maybe at the mid-tier game although i could say that you 
you potentially could find some value for them there because you may not be facing as difficult defenses or uh you may you may be limited on your offensive options they can still provide you with a good value because at least they're free to play accessible free to play farmable for a lot of these characters with respect of course to adam warlock but adam warlock you can farm those characters to be able to unlock him uh so that that becomes you know fairly easy there but i would say this is definitely a luxury team not the first team that you're going to build but you can find value for them as you progress here through the end game they're an efficiency sink in cc they've won me a lot of matchups just simply because the opponent whoever i'm going up against they just take so many damn turns time trying to kill this damn team that you know i'm able to kind of win by a point or two or 20 points whatever the case is so i definitely do still think that they are worth the investment however this is not a primary investment primary focus this is after you've already gotten your rest of your meta characters already built up here now all right and i wanted to talk about these next three characters here because they're kind of grouped in this one section and it kind of just makes sense to discuss them here and it's Dormammu, Doctor Doom, and Ultron. And I'm bringing this up, right? Because a lot of players do ask the question of whether or not they should build out Dormammu, whether or not they should build Doom, and whether or not they should still build Ultron. This is a tough question because two of these characters here are still are mystic characters, right? And there's so many good mystic characters that are in Marvel Strike Force right now. However, with that being said, Dormammu and Doctor Doom are still valuable characters that are used in the meta right now today. Now, they're not use a lot in let's say the arena format they're not used in raids but for competitive game modes that people like to play like alliance war and cosmic crucible these two characters are still being used on a lot of hybrid teams in those specific game modes now this may be more of a super end game thing but i still do think that dormammu and doom are still a lot of the times on a lot of dark dimension teams whether it's dark dimension six and then if we're now looking at dark dimension seven you're gonna need characters that have the you're gonna need to use characters that have the mythic trait in that specific section so you're going to want to look at dormammu and look at dr doom but what makes it difficult between these two characters is that they both take the hero unique of miasma so, so it's like sorry miasma just always makes me laugh but and 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 that's gonna be and that's gonna be the tough piece of it and they're both also very ex well actually dormammu is very expensive doom is not as expensive because you're split in between mystic gear and you're split in between tech gear so a lot of the times i do see people make the decision to bring in dr doom over bringing in dormammu for like a dark dimension six but then that gets a little dicey because there's a couple of nodes in dd6 where you have like death pools and stuff like that so then his bots are kind of just farming um death pool and just making it a, a life of living hell for you there but I do think that if you're looking at your mythic characters, it's really going to be these top five characters, right? That most players are going to want to consider. But if you don't want to do too much of a sync on your mystic gear, then you're going to be looking at a character like Ultron. And if I'm picking between these three characters, I would say Ultron is probably the one that falls off the most here. He doesn't scale as well. He's not as plug he's not plug and play like the other two characters are like doom and dormammu are still very plug and play although i will say this for doom i didn't talk about this here his revive mechanic is countered a lot by a lot of teams now right like there's so many teams that counter that revive mechanic there and that does you know bring on a little bit of a challenge but you know his special is still still gives him those charges and with this passive every single time that he takes a turn like on enemy turn not him taking a turn but on enemy turn if he is charged he's flipping all positive effects to negative effects and he's applying two bleeds to that enemy like that can bite you in the ass if you're you're going up against that so for me like i said dormammu with dr doom still valuable dr doom taking the right character on the ride here is still good it's just kind of tough sometimes to be able to get dr doom to be pushed um so that he can you know get below 50 percent gain the speed bar and then gain the ability energy but let me let me let me land the plane here on this right and that let's talk about ultron ultron like i said doesn't scale very well he's dropped a lot from the masses of evil team in cosmic crucible but your masses of evil team is still needed for your legendary nova unlock right and the way that they've changed it now is that you need to kind of build out all these themes x factor uh or, or i believe it's they're still doing that for, for those trials too like no you have to build out moe and you have to build out you know x factor to be able to get these get this character if i misspeak if i'm misspeaking here just let me know um so 
I do think that you're still going to have to build him up to an adequate level in order for him to be able to get through those doles in order for you to be able to get um, the, the, those, those shards that you do need uh, for Nova. So I do think that because of that, I could see where a lot of players drop maybe Storm or Doom, probably more so Doom to be able to bring in Ultron so that you can kind of complete and get through your Dark Dimension 7 there. So with uh, basically what I'm saying is proceed with caution and you may still have to build this character, but just maybe he's one of the characters that you kind of only build just enough to be able to get through the thing where we might still be a little bit undecided on that, but that's kind of where I am right now uh, as it pertains to Ultron. Then if we go over to this one is actually surprising to me because I I've, I kind of thought that maybe people wouldn't still be concerned about this scene, but I do still see questions on whether or not you should build your Weapon X team. And this is kind of like my thought process on it. The answer is no. Like it's, 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 it's very simple. No, like I'm personally, though, going to be bringing up Wolverine eventually to probably be geared tier 19. And you're probably going to think I'm crazy. As a matter of fact, I, I would push this button right now if it wasn't for the gold. But really, the rest of this team, although they, they do give me some value in Alliance War, that's pretty much basically it. The only value that I get out of any of these characters right now is Omega Red, and he would be the only character that I would recommend building on this team. He provides value on a few different hybrid teams for me in Cosmic Crucible. He's also a character that's still recommended for a lot of these Dark Dimensions, DD5, you're looking at DD6. He's recommended for those legendary sections. So with that being said, yeah, Omega Red, I still think has some value here as like a nuanced sort of usable character, but the rest of the team, I just don't think has enough value in this game. And if you are sort of like at an earlier point where you haven't unlocked Omega Red yet, I'm not sure if my recommendation would be and you have to like really go after trying to get this character he's more of a character that you once you do get him then you do have him as a option to be able to use him in some of these other sections because of course considering there are other legendary characters now that have been released into marvel strike force that you can also use in some of those sections too so that's where i'm at with this video right here i'm i'm a, I'm a little iffy on some of them right i am a yes for sure with apocalypse i am luxury team with infinity watch i am a yes with dormammu and i'm a yes with doom and i'm a you might have to with ultron and with weapon x i'm saying just omega ray would probably be the only character here that i would consider let me know if there's any other teams or characters that you're kind of on the fence with happy to help or that is concerned let me know if this video was helpful for you to be able to kind of help you with making you know some better decisions here on your roster but as always guys thanks so much follow uh, the channel for more like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always guys y'all be blessed y'all be safe